Hello everyone, I am Saiji Dunya. Welcome back to my channel, Saiji Dunya. In today's video, I will try to or do the CPU throttling test and comparison between the, all the three smartphones. So starting with the Realme X1 Pro with the Dimensity 1000 Plus and Mi 11X device with the Snapdragon 870 chipset and finally the Mi 11 device which has a Snapdragon 888 chipset. So this will be the very good comparison friends between all of these three smartphones and right now the battery percentage in all of the three smartphones are below 25 percentage. So 24 in this are Realme X1 Pro and uh, 20 three in this mi 11x device so let me need to show you friends so 23 uh, percentage in this phone and here in the mi 11 device it is of only 21 percentage as you can see clearly so let me try to quickly uh, start the cpu throttling test in all of these three smartphones so let's see which phone will perform best in terms of the cpu throttling when the battery percentage is below 25 percentage so that is what i'm trying to test right now in this video friends so let me uh, do the testing for about i'll try to do this kind of testing for 15 minutes continuously so we'll get to know the results as well so the brightness i am trying to use as you can see friends so i'm trying to use the 80 percent of the brightness not the full brightness so only the 80 percent of the brightness i'm using in all the three smartphones so let me try to quickly start the test in all the phones at same time so all the phones the test has been started and the temperature readings in the realme is 35 degrees mi 11x is 37 degrees and mi 11 is 36 degrees as you can see so 35, 37 and 36. So these are the temperature readings initially before starting the test. As I said, let's see friends, uh, when the battery percentage is below 25 percentage, will the CPU or throttling will be affected or not in terms of the battery backup? As you can clearly see right now in the Realme X1 Pro, where the per performance is kind of dropping, close to 80 80 percentage right now you can clearly see friends 80 percentage so whereas other smartphones that it maintain performance so realme x1 pro is a realme x1 pro friends which has got the dimensity 1000 plus chipset so which is kind of decreasing a lot as you can see here so which went even up to 75 percentage and whereas the mi 11x on the other hand with the snapdragon 870 chipset even it started to decrease and all the three smartphones i'm using the 120 hertz or refresh rate screen as well in case if you want to know so here as you can see friends the mi 11x it started to decrease consistently below or 80 percentage right now and on the other hand the snapdragon 888 processor as well even it it, it came, came close to 80 percentage as you can see friends so these are the three phones how they are performing in their uh, respective CPU throttling. So make sure to subscribe to my channel friends in case if you are interested in this kind of unique kind of CPU throttling comparisons and multitasking test and speed test comparisons as well. So make sure to check the links in description for more details of each and every smartphone. So as you can see the results are quite shocking right now. So all the three smartphones are performing kind of um, close to 80% right now. The Realme X1 Pro, as you can see, friends, it started to decrease in the beginning, but it was maintaining. Still, it was maintaining close to 90 or 90 percentage right now. You can see the performance level as well, how much it is right now in, in this phone. And whereas in the Mi 11X device with the Snapdragon 870 chipset, you can see the difference between these both the phones, how it's performing. And in the Snapdragon 888 in this Mi 11 smartphone, as you can see, friends, so where the performance dropped below a 75 percentage as well already. So this is uh, right now within three minutes of duration. So right now the time is only three minutes of time. Still the performance, as you can see, friends, this is how it is for the first three minutes of time. So Realme X1 Pro still it went up to 90 percentage and it's increasing and decreasing overall the performance. So the first place goes to the Realme X1 Pro where it's still maintaining this kind of performance level even after this kind of three minutes of time. The so second place for this Mi 11X, I, I think as you can see here, so it's maintaining consistently about 80% consistently without any problem as you can see. So final place for the Snapdragon 8088 processor, you can see it already reached up to 70% as well right now. So these are the three readings friends and again I'll be back after 15 minutes of doing this kind of CPU throttling test continuously in all these three smartphones so then we can actually discuss what's happening with this graph later on. As you can see friends right now the results are how it is in the, all the three smartphones. So only thing is that the Snapdragon 888 got affected a lot as you can see the performance it did drop up to 66 performance 66 percentage as you can clearly see friends the Snapdragon 888 chipset which is present in this Mi 11 device and where is the Mi 11X device so this is the Mi 11X device. So as you can see the performance dropped up to 73 percentage as you can clearly see friends 73 percentage and the minimum it went up to this, this is a point which went one 
145 that is the minimum lowest point it recorded and the temp temperatures in all these three smartphones are quite high and is the reason for the realme x1 pro as well the realme x1 pro reached up to 72 percentage of its max performance as you can see friends after 10 minutes of testing so these were the results are friends between the all the three smartphones and the temperature it needed to check 40 degrees 41 degrees 40 degrees so all the three smartphones are at same kind of temperature level itself 40 degrees only so that's it friend this is a quick review and overall the snapdragon 888 did perform a little bit less in terms of long long time usage when the battery is below our 20 25 percentage so right now it's 15 percentage so when they started the test the battery percentage was about 20, 21 percentage so in this right now the 18 percentage of the battery as you can see friends 18 percentage so starting with the 23 percentage and here the battery is of 17 percentage right now as you can see friends so starting with the 24 percentage so overall friends in terms of in terms of the battery draining the mi 11 drained a lot of battery and next position goes to the realme x1 pro little bit and third position for the mi 11x mi 11x did not drain much battery so the battery backup in this phone even when the battery is less the performance will not get affected much as well so this is a quite testing friends and for more videos make sure to subscribe and stay tuned and don't forget to check the links in description for more details as well on this in individual mobile uh, links which i have placed in the links in the description below so see you in the next video friends until then bye